welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're gonna be trying the Little Simsy Puzzle Challenge. And I don't know why I'm making myself do this, but for some reason I just love to torture myself with challenges like that. <laughs> Look at that challenge just waiting for me. Oh my God, okay. The rules of this challenge are pretty self-explanatory. We have a few rooms laid out for us, perfectly curated by Little Simsy herself. And with these horrendous shapes, we have to create something. <laughs> so we cannot remove any of the exterior walls we can remove interior walls so if you put pieces together I can actually go ahead and remove the wall in between them which is handy thank the lord at least we've got something going for us I'm gonna just go ahead and just dive straight into this because it's, it might take me like 10 hours who knows Lil Simsy actually created this build already and I think she created a commercial lot and you know a lot of these builds that have angles like that it, it's good to create a commercial lots with them maybe like a library or something but I don't know I'm not really too much into creating commercial lots so I'm thinking should we just go for a house right we've started off anyways with one block off to a great start okay I am kind of thinking that the pieces like these two with the angles I think I'm gonna use them for an upstairs and maybe create like an interesting balcony maybe we could work with something like that at the bottom of the house what about what if I do this that gives us a nice nice downstairs situation <laughs> oh god what now oh wait this is like tetris there is a two little piece that i could shove in there then oh my god oh my god what am i doing am i really good at this i then could put that there oh no wait not downstairs no sandra what is going on not upstairs i want downstairs downstairs please so like there as i said i think i want this to be like somewhere upstairs no okay when i actually want something upstairs it goes downstairs that is obviously the way that my sims game works wait a second i'm not really happy with what's going on here we could take this little room and put it there oh my god why does this keep happening put this downstairs i'm begging you thank you very much okay that doesn't look too bad she says to herself as she starts slowly crying what if okay hear me out i was gonna say what if we do this but i am regretting it i mean we are allowed to twist the rooms around so what if i do this okay then take this piece and put it right there and then I need to hide this horrendous block. Wait, <gasps> wait, I have an idea. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Hear me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that there. I don't like the way it is there, but I'm gonna just put it there and we're gonna have to work with it. I have an idea. Then we need more things going on upstairs and I am really not vibing with this little shape right here. Oh God. Okay, we... <laughs> We have to use every shape. And now I'm pretty upset about that. Hmm. Where can I put this shape? I'm stuck. I'm stuck with the last three shapes of the puzzle. I was doing so well up until this point. Maybe we could do that and then... Oh wait, then we could do that. <laughs> and then we could do that. Oh Lord. Oh no. Oh, well, there's no way that could be a house. <laughs> No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Let's just take a few steps back. We were kind of happy with what this is looking like. So why don't we just go upstairs and try fill the space up upstairs? I mean, I did kind of want this one downstairs because I had a cute little idea for that one. Um, But then, you see, why doesn't that actually go there? Now that I'm thinking about it, that doesn't really look very well there. What if I... See, it's, it's literally this piece that's freaking me out. Like, where do I put this piece? Then I could take this one and shove it right here. And then take this one and... Ooh, we could do this. <laughs> Guys, help me. Guys, help me. That is just purely not right okay so imagine this now imagine i'm trying to roof it so we could just go ahead and plank one of these through the whole house then okay we could do another one we could go another one this way this is cute this is a really cute little thing we could do not really cute anymore now that i'm looking at it maybe we could do something like that and put the front door in here somehow yes okay that's not bad considering 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 something that's not bad imagine if i do something along these lines where actually all of this could be a little fence so that could be like a like a thing could i do like a chimney like that maybe another chimney like a big chimney like this there's two chimneys because you know a very un-eco-friendly home then we just have to get maybe like a 
a slanted roof. But maybe it could just be flat. Wait, maybe we could just do a platform. Platform, platform, platform. This is utterly confusing me. Platform. And then we need an angle. Oh God. Um, so angle and platform. Okay, so we've got something going on here, I think. And I feel like now it's way too late to go back. So I think this is the shape that we're gonna be working with. What if we then add some very, very interesting accents to this house? Because you know, this is going to be a very um, a weird house. I was trying to find a nice term. There is no nice term that I can use. So it's, we're just going to go with weird house. It's going to be one of those ones that is really all about nature and like giving back to nature. But it's also probably owned by some rich people that do not really know what they're doing when it comes to, to nature and things like that. So, you know, it's, it's all a bit of a controversy with this house. But yeah, but I think it, it would be pretty funny. Why don't we try and remove the walls on the inside and now we are starting with the floor plan which you know it's probably gonna be hideous but we've got the hardest part over no i'm sorry the upstairs what is going on upstairs like that's surely gonna have to be a bedroom and now what <laughs> i feel like the stairs are gonna have to go like right here let's maybe do like earthy tones yeah what if we do this so those would be the stairs and then that's your upstairs area i am gonna do the floor plan before i figure out the windows because i think that's gonna be more important to be honest with you than the windows um but i do know this is what i wanted i wanted this to be like an out i was gonna say outhouse no i want this to be like a yes <gasps> like a thing so this is gonna take us to the outside and i think we should go for like warm kind of earthy brown tones in this house i feel like that would be quite nice and i am automatically thinking of putting a table here okay so hear me out i mean all of this could change but imagine like a little dining table with some chairs okay wow dining table right there kind of at the end of the stairs but you know that's fine that, that's totally fine i think then we could do like a kitchen kind of like big enough kitchen there maybe that could also be a wall and we could just do a little archway right a nice little archway into the kitchen space then we've got your dining and i feel like this should be the living i mean it's kind of calling out for a couch to be sat here in the middle somewhere so imagine couch some chairs and then like your tv plonked on the wall okay that's kind of cute that is kind of cute actually i'm not gonna lie that is cute see the thing is though the front door we do want it to be like tucked away in here so let me just pick out a front door wait what about this door oh no wait yeah we're picking this door sorry about that one we're picking this door yes okay now i do feel like we need a little like a little toilet here or something or we should have this be a bedroom that's a bathroom that's something then we've got like a nice open area here you know quite nice and spacious i feel like the house is pushed back a bit much but i mean there's not much else we could do okay then we could do bedroom i don't know what the heck this is so maybe that could be like a little bathroom and i am thinking of maybe making another bedroom and that could just be like a little maybe like a landing office or something like that oh my god this house is actually so dysfunctional but look i'm gonna take a little bit of time to kind of put in the windows and figure out the color scheme of the outside and then we will regroup back and assess so guys i've taken so much time to, to do this it, it took me a while and i still think that it looks very sailor vibes but also like it's wearing a weird hat on its head but anyways this is what we're working with very modern vibes very like wow they spent a lot of money on this but also very simple i mean i don't know i'm not really a big fan of it but we've made it work so the front of it is quite simple i'm just adding a few objects in at the moment and furnishing the house but at the back at the back of the house we decided to put in a swimming pool because i mean it's so ridiculous this whole idea of this house that i was like okay these people are going with this ridiculous vibe so they're gonna get a swimming pool and it's a tiny swimming pool barely do half a lap in that but i thought it still makes sense um and it's funny how like this wall is meant to be like private but you can still see through it it's all ridiculous it all doesn't really make sense then i am working away on this sitting living dining area everything combined because obviously it's just very 
bit chaotic. I guess this house is big enough to have like two bedrooms. So like maybe like a family with a baby and a child, like a maybe teenager. Oh, maybe a teenager actually. But then again, I did want to put in like a home gym of some sort, uh, which I don't think I will have the room for. I will do a little bathroom downstairs and then I am maybe thinking, although this probably should be a bathroom and maybe this will be like a laundry because I love putting laundries into my, into my Sims builds. I think it makes it more realistic and I love the challenge. I, I love it. I love a good challenge, clearly. And then for the sitting room, I am just working away with furnishing it to be quite classy, quite modern, but I do want some color in this house because it is very gray and very bland. But speaking of removing color, I actually just, I was gonna show you this. This is a very cool tip. If you do like this money bin, so you know this bin, the greatest bin in, this, in the history of Sims. This bin, it doesn't really look very pretty. It does really stand out like a sore thumb. Well, I've got you covered. Well, I, I got the bin covered. Anyways, listen to this. So if you want to hide this bin, but still make it functional, all you have to do is put it on your move objects key. Obviously that should be on anyways. We shouldn't even have to tell you this. Take your bin and put it into this steel one and just slot it in like that. And here we go. Bin is hidden. We do not know that bin exists. So take the waste not waste basket and put your bin into it. I know it's clipping out a little bit, but like, like I would rather see a little bit of clippage, but still have like, you know, the bin hidden. You know, I, ju I just think it makes sense. I love it. So far, so good, guys. What are we thinking? I mean, what are those legs doing? Oh my God, that looks like it's broken, but I guess we might use it for today. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if I could do red chairs? Do these work? Not really. I want to make them work now. I think we need like so many more paintings in this game. Like just random paintings. I feel like paintings should be updated like every week in this game. If they could work with artists, I'm an artist, I'm a printmaker. So they could always reach out to me or someone of the, that sort and just like ask them, hey, do you want to have your painting in The Sims for this week or something? And you know, that way then we will be introducing other artists in the game and it just will be very nice and very fresh to add paintings. Why am I making everything massive? Calm down, Sandra. Well, guys, I think I'm complete. I think I've done everything in this house. So let me show you. And honestly, like as much as this is a monstrosity of a house, House. do not get me wrong it wasn't the hardest little simsy challenge i've ever done definitely you should try this one yourself because it turned out to be pretty amazing and i think it would have been a lot harder if she didn't allow for the walls the middle walls to be removed with what we were working with i think we made an okay house you know what i actually kind of like it i don't really like the upstairs area i probably would change that the slightest bit but overall i'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and i'm pretty proud of myself as well for it so let me just give you a quick tour since you've seen it last not much has changed downstairs we now have a little room here so this is like your little i guess spare room it's a really lovely room it's like a guest room i suppose toilet just right outside of it here as well there is a little laundry nothing special just your little laundry room so this is your main bedroom like i guess that's your master bedroom it's it's nice it's quite small though i feel like the room downstairs is a bit bigger and then we've got a little office again it's pretty neutral but i am kind of thinking if i was to use this house which I don't think I will uh, you could put like a little workout machine here or something so you know there is room for potential there is room for improvement there is I just realized no banister so if you come out of that bedroom drunk or something you will go straight down the stairs so that's very safe and then we've got your last bathroom upstairs which I mean the bathroom they're quite small and very awkwardly shaped particularly this one but I mean I kind of make do with what I had I'm not hating this I think that this is actually quite a cute little space you can do a bit of gardening you can do a little bit of grilling and then you can also swim in the tiny little swimming pool you've ever seen in your entire life it's not the worst house I've built in I mean did I even build this? Let me let me rephrase. It's not the worst house I've worked on. Now, that sounds a bit better. We could even use this house in the next Let's Play that we'll be doing, continuing on the life of crazy werewolf grandma and our weird dysfunctional growing together family when the new horses pack comes out. So we never know. We might revisit this house sometime in the future. Well, guys, please let me know what you think of this build and definitely, definitely give this little Simsy puzzle challenge a go. I'm gonna leave the kind of information for it linked for you down below. But anyways, as for usual if you have enjoyed my video please don't forget to subscribe as there is a load of content coming and yeah i shall see you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye